Coracle is a single-person rowing boat made of reeds and twigs from ancient Britain. There are so many wonderful things you can learn from the ancient Britons, Amy. Like metallurgy and how to cauterize the wound when a bear has eaten your arm. Everyone used to have a coracle, Amy, even people who were scared of water. We're all about working to preserve the diversity of natural life. Reuse everything. Question. Who's this we? My coven. Like witches? No, yeah, yeah, yes. But not witches like you think. We're just a group of people who believe in communal sharing and chanting a lot and can't find husbands. Reading magazines, cloaks, wands, What you doing? On TV or those people in the movies? I think I know. She wanted health insurance. Yeah, right. That's what we got. The first one going out. He's great for kids. Yes, it's Lauren. Mommy has some skin now that she's in the bed. And he helps us, too. Won't you like your great portion? He's a great conversation piece in our special life. Please put your heart and ease in the head and the fun will begin. It's like having a personalized alarm clock. I brought you a great. I say good morning. I made him a double. Oh, Domestabot. Domestabot. He's three foot high. He only 
says 10 phrases he's the friend you've always dreamed of. Order the best bot today. So, welcome back and all that stuff. You're on K-Chat with me, Amy Schenkenhausen, on Vice City Station for the Stars, including me. And boys, have I got a treat for you. Next up is a living legend, a man who won the World Series single-handed, known to his fans as Death in tight pants, and known to his enemies as, oh my god, I just got flattened by a truck. How is that fair? It's sports legend, BJ Smith. So, BJ, welcome. Thanks. It's a real pleasure to be here. Oh, I know. For one thing, I never won the World Series. That's baseball. I Yes, but it's all the same, isn't it? Football and baseball aren't the same. In one of them, you get bored during a five-hour game. You touch yourself a lot and start a massive brawl with players who are degenerates, egomaniacs, and criminals. The other's football. Yes, but it's all the same. No, Amy, it isn't. Anyone can hit a home run. In baseball, you stand around the field, then violating your salary by 162, waiting for some action. Talk to a guy who just played an hour of football. He's been in the trenches getting Asian orange sports drink poured all over his head to keep him from taking the innocent life. One is a game for men, the other is a game for kids who like wearing button-down shirts. They call baseball a national pastime. If that means making a million dollars by standing around all day, count me out. I'll work my money. I can tell you. Yo, baby, it's cool. I just want you to know what I did. I do? Jeez, get over yourself. You must have a testosterone imbalance like all those jocks who shower with other men. You can't tell me you don't look at other people's business. And I'm making a comeback. I'm a very competitive person, I grant you, but I ain't got no testosterone imbalance. That little mustache you busting out looks like you should be talking about some hormone problems, girl. Excuse me? What did you say? Damn, baby. You're so ugly, you make blind kids cry. BJ, you better stop being a bully just because I'm not into the job I like or rock stars or that kind of thing. Not some great big hulking giant that can tell everyone who he is. Well, I didn't realize we were trying to impress each other here, sweet thing. I was thinking we was here to discuss my new exercise video or talk about my possible comeback in professional football. Not sitting here flirting with each other. I'm a bird. I'm a So you got a big family. All those wives. That's fantastic. Not really. You see, I really like family. Especially when some show up you didn't know existed. I tell you, Father's Day... ...has met some real magnificent people. Seven wives! That's fantastic! No, I have one wife. I had six before that. So you downsized, right? Yeah, something like that. If you want to win in life, you have to change players. You can't play on the same team all the time. So, oh my god, isn't this getting intimate, BJ? I feel like we are really connected. I like it the Other men may fumble, but I can't stop trenches like a dog. That's actually part of my video. What are you talking about? Well, as you know, running the ball is like making romance. And one day when I was going for a touchdown, you know what I'm saying, I had a great idea. You see all these fitness videos on television? It's always that idiot fool in leotards prancing about giving it the skinny thing. And I say, what is this? I mean, what in the world is this? These people ain't fit. They ain't got a clue. When you're fit, you know it. If you come into the locker room, you know I spit for football, able to wrestle and pounce and hurt somebody for all straight. That's what people need. If someone comes to jack your ride, are you going to a bust a aerobic move? Hell no. But when you know how to grab another man by the face mask and twist him around and, and so he can tear his ligaments in his back and never play again. I mean, that's some real useful everyday stuff. And I should know. You know, I just don't want to talk about football anymore. Well, take dating or washing the car. What good is a leotard when you wash the car? Or put a man in a helmet in a car. They can wash the car. That's fighting fit football. A really very simple program. The best way to get your body fit is to have total disregard for your body. Every now and then you wake up and come out of the concussion and say, damn, I look good. BJ, you talk funny. We'll be back on K Chat right after these messages. Are you tired of what you think? Oh, man. I'm going to take a If you've got old people cluttering up your home, why not send them to Mutt Run They'll enjoy bingo, complaining, mumbling incoherently, skinny dipping.
shopping and booting donation. And once a month, it's our famous Lucky Dip medication switching night. Musty Pines is located at a luxurious location overlooking Vice City's state-of-the-art sanitation facility. You can still visit your old people, but now you have the comfort of knowing After you can start enjoying their money. Finally, you can have quality family time again. Musty Pines. Now, you don't have to say goodbye. Drive to service at the day. He was just the boy next door. Well, hello there, Danny. I didn't know it was hockey season. Hey, can I borrow a knife? A deadly curse. A deranged killer. A small town in tears. Knife After Dark. Rated R for retarded. Ew, that's gross, PJ. Stop hanging with me. Hi, I'm Amy and you're on Cave Chat. So, what do you need to do for PJ's fit for football? What I need is a real expensive team. A team of trainers, medical practitioners, dietitians, a big crowd, and a pony who wants you dead. Dead in the dirt. I mean, a nasty, blood-sucking leech of a man who will destroy you if you don't destroy him first. A man who likes to set animals on. He's the enemy. I'm just right, and then you pounce, baby, like a kitty cat on catnip. I'll sack a man, pile drive him hard, again and again, because the idiot comes my way, I'll nail him every time. This video sounds like a lot of fun. You think it's fun when you don't make fun more to act when you're so scared of what you're going to do to a man to step outside yourself like an astral projection and police go Kent State on you and, and people crying and bleeding and, and, and pouncing each other in the face and that's just a lot of fun again. That's your idea of fun? Yeah, I, I, I guess. Yeah, mine too. That's why I'm making a comeback. I've been retired two years and I'm telling you, selling cars or appearing in soft drink commercials is not fun compared to having Low IQ morons in Green Bay or, or Tampa or Liberty City or whatever screaming how they want you dead just because you're playing for the mamas. That's actualizing the soul. Wow, that sounds interesting. Tell me about it. I am doing it. I'm busy. Hey, wait a minute. Are you reading the book over there doing this interview? No, no, I can hardly read. Get on with it. I'm trying to see. You best go. The comeback is real. PJ Smith, six year pro bowl MVP. The man responsible for more broken bones than anyone since I had advanced. I'm a physicrat. You can rip my arms off and I'll just moat and grow new ones. Where? Right here, right now. Let's I'm not seeing any booty here. <laughs>